The proposed Dayspent nuclear power plant will be the first large-scale electricity generation plant in Eastern Cape if it is built. Government remains committed to add 2,500 megawatts of new nuclear energy as part of its integrated resource plan and Dayspent is one of the preferred sites to build a plant. We need to make sure that post-2030 we would have uh, commissioned at least two units of the nuclear power plants uh, post-2030 that will provide clean baseload electricity and bolster massive infrastructure and uh, contribute immensely into the economy of the area and South Africa in terms of making sure that we can guarantee the security of energy supply. And there's also a lot of opportunities for professionals, uh, the youth, needs to get themselves ready to study the STEM uh, subjects. Dayspent as a site for a nuclear plant is widely opposed due to the possible impact on the environment. Community involvement during the process is seen as key to the success of it. It's very important obviously that we get our local stakeholders, local residents involved in this process. It's been coming for a long time. Uh, ESCOM has been talking about uh, this project and, and for us as a municipality it's really important that they engage with our local stakeholders uh, in all our areas to, to make sure that everybody is aware, everybody is on board with what's going on um, and people know what just what processes will be uh, going forward. That's I think that's the most important uh, part of it for us as a municipality. The community members attending the function have welcomed the proposed development. Equally, the Eastern Cape at large will equally benefit out of the project itself. Hence we are saying we are 100% behind the efforts of bringing that mega project to Koha. I really hope that the plant gets established because in this area we really need a lot of jobs and improve the economy. We definitely support it. The Department of Mineral Resource and Energy says the construction of a new nuclear plant will also provide a substantial boost to local suppliers and manufacturers. Lerato Fekisi, SABC News, Jeffries Bay.